Hello and welcome to How to Play, a new series here on What to Play where we give you tips and tricks to make your gaming experience better. I'm Rain and here are 7 tips on how to play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Tip 1. Motion Control vs. Button Control One of the quality of life updates Nintendo made to Skyward Sword is now you can either play using button controls or motion controls, whichever is most comfortable for you. I personally prefer playing this game with motion controls as it was originally intended, but I really appreciate being able to play this game in handheld mode. One of the biggest reasons why I like motion control mode better is because this way I could control the camera with the right joystick. When you're in button mode, the right joystick then controls your sword. I found it weird at first, but it's actually not that hard to get used to. On button mode, press your ZL button to reposition the camera behind Link. Alternatively, you could also make it so motion controls adjust the camera. I found that quite fun, especially while playing handheld mode while sitting on a swivel chair. To reset gyro, press Y. You can change these settings by clicking the plus button and going through options. Tip 2. Where to Climb In this video, I'm going to assume that you have not played Legend of Zelda games apart from Breath of the Wild, as that game is the highest selling game in the franchise. If you have a Nintendo Switch, you most probably have BOTW, or as I like to call it, Batu. One of the things that you might miss from the climbing simulator that is Breath of the Wild is the ability to climb everywhere. In Skyward Sword, you can only climb on some designated areas and surfaces like these vines or this ledge. Tip 3. Flying in motion. Flying is a major part of this game. I mean, who would have guessed? I personally find flying to be easier on button mode. However, if you are flying on motion control mode, here is a quick tutorial on how to do it. To dive down, you simply point your right Joy-Con downwards. To fly up, quickly flip up your right Joy-Con up. To steer left and right, tilt your Joy-Con side to side. To boost, press X. To slow down, press B. If you want to get off your loft wing, press ZR. I don't know why that was personally so hard for me to understand, but I got there in the end and I hope that helped you. Tip 4. Eat your stamina fruits. Throughout the game, you'll see these green fruits on the ground. These are stamina fruits and they will replenish your stamina. Thankfully, for the most part, you won't have to worry about stamina. You'll most definitely find these fruits on your long runs. The only time you'll need to worry about stamina is during fights. When Link runs out of juice, he'll be too tired to even lift that sword. How many times did I say stamina? Tip number 5. Mastering your sword There's actually a lot of tutorials you can skip in Skyward Sword, and one of them is the sword wielding lesson. If you're new to the game or want to use the button controls as opposed to motion controls, do take your time in learning how everything works. Some enemies and puzzles in this game require you to move your sword in a certain way to be defeated. By the way, when you get your goddess sword, you'll learn how to do the goddess strike. Know that it's actually a long-range attack. Tip 6. Take a seat. Every now and then, it's important to take a break, even in games. Sitting will replenish your hearts, so if you ever find yourself low, rest up a bit. Tip 7. Socialize. Some of us may have forgotten how to do this IRL, but to advance in-game, you have to step out of your comfort bubble and start talking to people especially if they have this yellow speech bubble. Also, talk to this item checker lady every chance you get. She's a bit standoffish, but deep inside, I feel like she's just a little bit lonely. Alright, that is it for now. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this new series, please click like and comment down below what game you'd like us to do next. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on our next video. Bye!